with Read to Me, Mrs. C. Learning through reading is fun. Yippee! So let's open a book and we'll have an explore. The more that we read will mean you're learning more. Why, hello there, and welcome back to Read to Me, Mrs. C. I'm happy to see you today. Did you know that there are patterns everywhere in our world? There's patterns in nature, there's patterns in clothing, there's patterns even in how some authors write books. So what exactly is a pattern? A pattern is when two or more things follow the same routine. Take a look at my shirt that I picked out for today. It has a pattern in it. Two colors, blue, green, blue, green, blue, green. They follow a pattern. Today's book is called Beep, Beep. Room, Room. It is written by Stuart J. Murphy and it's illustrated by Chris Demarest. All right, my friend, get yourself comfy. We're going to start reading about patterns now. Beep, beep, room, room. Written by Stuart J. Murphy, illustrated by Chris Demarest artistically altered and read by Read to Me, Mrs. C. Published by Harper Collins Publishing. Beep, beep. Vroom, vroom. Beep, beep. Honked the yellow cars. Vroom, vroom. Zoom the red cars. Crash, crash, banged the blue cars. Cars are fun, said Kevin, for big kids to play with. I like cars, said Molly. You're too little to play with my cars, said Kevin. Kevin, called Mom. It's your turn to set the table. Aw, Mom, grumbled Kevin. He carefully lined up all the cars on his shelf. When I come back, Kevin told Molly, I want to see my cars just the way I left them. Let's look at the pattern on this one. Red, blue, yellow. Red, blue, yellow, red, blue, yellow, red, blue, yellow. Molly waited until Kevin went downstairs. Then, vroom, vroom, zoomed the red cars. Beep, beep, honked the yellow cars. Crash, crash, banged the blue cars. Dad heard lots of rooming, crashing, and beeping. Molly, Dad said, you know you shouldn't play with Kevin's cars unless you ask. Let's put them back where you found them. Kevin always likes his cars lined up in a special way. Take a look at how Dad and Molly put those back. Is that the same pattern or is it different? Molly waited until Dad went downstairs. Then, crash, crash, banged the blue cars. Beep, beep, honked the yellow cars. Vroom, vroom, zoomed the red cars. This time mom heard all the crashing, beeping, and vrooming. Oh, Molly, mom said, you've made a big mess of Kevin's cars. Can you help me put them back 
the way he lines them up? Look at how these are lined up. Molly waited until Mom went downstairs. Then, beep, beep, honked the yellow cars. Vroom, vroom, zoomed the red cars. Crash, crash, banged the blue cars. Now Digger heard the beeping, vrooming, and crashing. Woof! Digger barked. Woof! Woof! Digger gave Molly lots of kisses, and he wagged his tail a little too much. Molly, called Kevin from the kitchen. You'd better not be playing with my cars. I'm coming up to see. Oh, no. I sure hope Molly remembers the pattern that Kevin had. Do you remember what the pattern was? Let's find out. Molly put the cars back on the shelf as fast as she could. Oh, she could hear Kevin coming closer and closer. Molly looked at the cars. They didn't look quite right. She lined them up again quickly. When Kevin walked in the door, he found his cars just the way he left them. Vroom, vroom, zoomed the red cars. Beep, beep, honked the yellow cars. Crash, crash, banged the blue cars. Maybe someday you'll be old enough to play with cars too, Molly, said Kevin. Surprise, Molly, said Mom. She was standing in the doorway. We were going to wait until your birthday to give you these, but we think you're old enough to have them now. Molly smiled at the shiny new cars. Then, beep, beep honked at the green cars. Vroom, vroom, zoomed the purple cars. Crash! Stuart J. Murphy wrote a story about patterns. He used cars to show patterns. There were three colors in there. I want you to think about maybe even a different pattern that you could make from those three colors. The other thing I want you to do is look around you today and see if you can discover patterns in books, in your clothing at home, on bedding or other parts of the house or the classroom that you're in. All right, my friend, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. If you enjoyed this story, push the like button. And if you know somebody who would enjoy it as much as you did, share it with somebody else and watch it again and again and see if you can discover even more patterns. Okay, my friend, until I see you again, you can help me say it. Keep on reading.